Hi Libra, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of July, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for uh, this month, I continue to have two options. So if you'd like to know more detail details about those sales offer, just uh, check in the description box below or if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do that by following the PayPal link which is also down below. So Libras, I do feel like throughout the month of July there there are um, a lot of important realizations occurring here. For many of you it's like <clears throat> It has been this long due process to get you to acknowledge what you're about to acknowledge or realize. And it's a big deal for many of you Libras, whatever it is that you're coming to realize, it's a big deal. It's impactful. Uh, for some, it carries with it this, this, this weight or this importance but it, because it's almost like the thing that is going to lead you into the... Um, finalization of something the completion of something so it could be the um catalysis to an important ending to uh closure to just put things to rest so that you can move forward into a new energy or into a new experience um with more awareness of yourself and of why it is so important to set yourself to do certain things you will be called to do Meaning that there are pending situations, there are questions in your mind, in your life at a whole uh, that for some of you Libras have kept you, you know, bound to limited, to a limited kind of energy where you felt like you couldn't move forward or you felt like you couldn't really invite new energy until you deal with that, until you fix that, until you heal that, until you figure out whatever it is that you have been trying to figure out. And so... Resolving what is pending, um, tying up loose ends, putting the end marks in certain situations um, is one of the main themes of the month of July for many of you. And there's this huge wave of emotion that can come as a part of it, as like as a part of the deal is that you can get your closure, you can get your definition, you can get the truth that you seek, but it comes with a, this huge emotional um, for some, it's a huge emotional toll. It will bring emotions to the surface. It will make you very emotional. It will make you very um, sensitive and sensible uh, more than usual to this time in your life and how things are unfolding right now. I feel like many believers also switch quite a lot between, you know, um, hot and cold there's something about the switch between being very emotionally open or then very emotional guarded and controlled that is also an issue here with the queen of swords in your past you're leaving that behind you're leaving your resents resentments behind what makes you bitter what makes you um harsh on yourself on our or on others what has you know hurted you so much that it made you close be very closed off or very difficult very unapproachable um to life itself to good things out there that desire to be you know a part of you but a part of your life but you know it's a shut down energy experience here that has been a part of your life with the queen of swords some of you have been really in this energy of not allowing anything anyone to get close to you Others of you is just a feeling of uh, extreme defensiveness and suspicious around anyone's motivations, and I feel like you're 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 still kind of um, struggling in the beginning of the month to let your guard down, but it will get better as the month deepens. So I feel like for those of you that are dealing with that and you are aware that you're very defensive or you're aware that you can't trust easily, you're aware that you need to open up your heart back again, it's going to get better as the month unfolds. But I also feel like it's important that you allow emotion to come to you, that you allow 
yourself to feel your feelings because it is through that allowance that things then will fall into place. The more you resist, the more intense the experience is going to be and the more overwhelmed some of your Libras are going to feel by, you know, the depth and the weight of your emotional world. Because I feel like uh, there are Libras here that has have so many things inside that you have been suppressing for a long, long, long time. And then allowing, you know, opening that door is going to make you feel like you're going to be, you know, putting yourself at risk of being swallowed, right? By this um, emotional wave. I do feel that unconsciously with the moon here, you're sorting out your past <clears throat> traumas, blockages, insecurities, the narrative of the past experiences that, again, have conditioned you and your life up until this moment in time. Specifically around how you give yourself love, so in the energies of self-love and self-appreciation, self-care, but also in how you emotionally connect and relate with others. Because I feel like the month of July is very important to define, um, you know, and, and figure out what has really kept you away from love, away from people, away from energies you have wished to be a part of, but somehow there has been this, you know, this, con this connection, this engagement of the things you most wanted. There's a truth coming forward that has to deal with a very unconscious aspect of your own being that will reveal to you the truth of why. You know, what has really been preventing you from moving in the direction that is about pursuing your happiness. Some of you Libras have had only like half partial knowledge of, you know, where does your heart lie? What does your heart want? What does your heart tell you? Like there's, there has been this difficulty in really tapping into your heart space and listening to it, let alone trusting it enough to pursue whatever it tells you. And that is like the game changer here, July 4th, is that you're gonna start connecting emotionally, intuitively, empathically um again and i keep getting again because i feel like this has been something that throughout your trajectory you've lost touch of but it has been always a part of you it's just like you're reconnecting to a very important part of your being if you have felt like out of sorts if you haven't felt like yourself for a while, the month of july can be very healing and transformative in that sense because it's almost like you know, returning to your essence, returning to references that you haven't been in touch for a while. And this can apply itself and manifest itself concretely in the form of, you know, connecting with people you have been, dis you know, uh, distant from, uh, forgiving situations, you know, be making amends with those you need to make amends, or, you know, start start to pursue activities you have not been doing. And I feel like you, do, you don't even know why. There's this question of, like, you don't even know why, where you have lost, you know, where you have lost yourself, why you have walked away from certain relationships, or why you have, uh, you know, really stopped doing things that make you happy, make you feel loved, make you feel nurtured, inspired, motivated, comforted, right? So there's a lot, again, of truth-telling. And this truth-telling, like, the, this explanatory kind of energy comes um, from a very um, mysterious, complex, in-depth source and for the majority of you, it has to deal with your own inner self, revealing itself to you, showing itself to you somehow. Um, it, you can have some important dreams or some important psychic awareness that, you know, leads you to the truth, leads you to the understanding of something. Because with the Queen of Cups, <clears throat> in the heart of your reading with the Moon, this is, this is an extremely... Um, empathic connected uh gentle energy it's the energy of immense unconditional love some of you could feel like you're loving um yourselves and others like 
you haven't been able to love for a while or you could feel connected with something in specific that you know pulls out of you emotions and inspiration that is very rich and abundant others is just a feeling of you can feel again i keep getting like there's something about you feeling again feeling like it's like feeling like your heart is beating again feeling like you're breathing again there's a sense of returning to an energy of uh normalcy to you for others of you this could also be that there's just that energy of you're in a moment where you're healing you're healing your heart space from something that have you know somehow impacted you take a toll on you and you could be very defensive also here when it comes to taking this time for yourself to figure out what you need to figure out to heal what you need to heal so you could be withdrawing from you know social life loud environments or environments that somehow affect you because the queen of cups with the moon in particular is very sensitive so <clears throat> it could be that just there's this just this uncomfortable feeling with you when you are in harsh environments or dealing with negative harsh uh people and the expression of personal their personalities right now of people you're used to deal with if they come through very harshly um i feel like you will withdraw uh, you're putting your well-being first you're putting your especially your emotional well-being first so what what and who does not make you feel good or who does not make you feel loved and lovable you could really be you know okay i'm gonna be done with this seven of wands in the world you could be really placing yourself in a position where you're ready to make clear cuts where you need to make them but also allow in those you have been resisting to allow in out of just distrust and and and, and hurt some of you there has been this energy of denial denying yourselves of the things you most want and need um there, there's some libras here that have been in this battle between again the logical, the right, the moral, you know, aspect of a path that wants you to keep, you know, yourself in check all the time, control all the time, rational all the time. And then there's this other path that it's about chaos of emotions and feelings and sensations. And, you know, it's um, a mysterious but very attractive path. And this could speak itself about love, about uh, your career goals, about your goals in general. There's just, it feels like there's two different paths that have had, you know, a pull on you for a while. It's like some Libras have been in this crossroads between these two energies, these two paths of significance. But I feel like in the month of July, due to the energy of this very cancerian emotional prone energy we are in many of you will be figuring out that you want to choose the emotional chaotic but rich dimension of life you want to be moved by love you want to act upon love work with love relate with love so it's just a feeling of wherever you have been very uptight where you have been very controlled where you have rejected and denied again ongoingly the elements that you have needed to really nurture your being this is what you're putting a stop to is where you have been somehow depriving yourself of essential elements for your well-being and you move into august with a sense of accomplishment the world arcana some of you are really ending something big in the month of july and it ends with perfection meaning that Whatever it is that you've struggled and the world arcana many times has that, you know, um, that karmic connotation with it, the Saturn uh, component here and energy, the frequency of Saturn is very strong with this card. But it's like that feeling of down the road where we've suffered a lot, we've learned a lot, we struggled a lot, 
and now all the rewards for hard work for for all of this journey or all this cycle you have been moving through are coming together to give you compensation being in the form of experience being in the form of freedom being in the form of a new project a new destination um, a new relationship a new sense of self you know something big is about to happen um, ahead but you're finding it that if you have felt like you couldn't end something, you couldn't walk away from something, you couldn't put an end to something that you know you need to end, that has served its purpose in your life in order for you to move forward, the month of, of July will give you the emotional strength and courage to do so. But also the reflection that there's something, there's something um you have been hiding here consciously or unconsciously for the majority of you is unconsciously you have been hiding your heart space that it's the key for your prosperity especially around your emotional world so i hope you have a great month i want to thank all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting and donating to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much hopefully we'll see each other soon